Hello. Oh, I should probably cover my address. Hello, friends and family. Today we are doing an unboxing. Obviously, unboxing videos are very out of style. However, this is the start of a new craft project, knitting project that I'm actually doing with my mum. So there's this thing called a knit along, which is where you and a group of other people uh, do the same knitting pattern. And it's often done in online communities, obviously, um, so you don't have to try and organize like a physical meetup with people in your community. And this particular knit along that we're going to do is a mystery knit along by Stephen West. And basically what happens is you pick the colours for your um, wool and you get every week a new section of the knitting pattern. So you don't actually know what the finished product is going to look like. All we know is that it's going to be a shawl because that's sort of his trademark thing. And um, so it should take about a month and it starts in October. So it's going to be all of autumn basically. My mum and I are doing it together. She's got her different colours and I have here my order of wool. Um, so we're going to open it up and see how the colours look like. And then I'll talk a little bit more about the whole concept. Let's open this bad boy up. Mm, let's go do it. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so first of all we have a knitting bag. And in the knitting bag we have a size gauge for needles, which is really useful because needles come with the size on them, but it rubs off. So you will need that. We've got a very sturdy bag with the You're a Knitter Baby which is in reference to RuPaul's Drag Race, where he says you're a winner, baby. We have this holographic sticker, so Mystery Knit Along 2022. Uh, so, you know, they're trying to make an event out of it, which makes it very fun for some people in the knitting community. And then you get a MKAL, oh, sorry about my nails, MKAL uh, tag, which you can show, sew on the finished product. I picked the Maple Aspen pack and this is the accent colour, yellow with a little bit of speckling and it is made from ultra fine South African Merino, very very bright, the colour is actually really amazing. As you can see, very autumn uh, themed or fall if you're American. Then we have one of the two main colours for the project. And this is Red Maple. This one was called Quaking Aspen. Quaking Aspen Red Maple. This is also South African Merino 100%. Um, Again, um, I'm not sure if you'd call this one speckled, but there's a, a little change in the colour. So it's red, but you see here it becomes a little bit more orange. So a slight uh, variation in the colour. It's not a solid colour. Very bright as well. As you can see, it, it almost makes the yellow look less bright. <laughs> And then we have the last main colour. And this one is called Latte. It's also 100% ultra fine South African Merino. And it is, I would say, a very, very light brown. And it is also uh, slightly varied in the colour, very, very slightly. The variation is much more slight than 
the red, as you can see. Um, so this one is the last of the two main colours. And then we have what we have, what they call a pop colour. So this one is designed to pop up when in when in uh, together with the two main colours. The feeling is amazing, super soft. The actual brand of the wool is King Fiber with a Q. And it is hand dyed in London, in the UK. And so those are my picks, okay? And my mum, she has picked her own colours from her own stash. So, now let's talk about what is written in this little letter that came along with it. Um, so, the knit along for this one has a title called uh, Twists and Turns. And that uh, gives you sort of an idea about what the shawl is going to be. There's probably going to be like a lot of uh, twist stitches, um, ca cable... Or, you know, I really shouldn't talk about this because I've only just started knitting. Uh, but anyway, so MKA's, MKAL stands for Mystery Knit Along. And it's a social activity in which a group of knitters all make the same project in a specified time frame. A Mystery Knit Along adds an extra level of spice because you won't know what the thing you're knitting is when you start. So a section of the pattern is released each week, which is called a clue. And at the end of the knit along, the final design is revealed. So the West Knits MKAL is always a shawl design and always incorporates interesting techniques. So he does really, I would say, enjoy teaching people different techniques. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what the final product is. Uh, and I think you guys will be quite surprised with how intricate it actually ends up being. So the pattern is not included with your yarn kit because you purchased that on Ravelry or on the West Knits website itself. So Ravelry is a database of different knitting patterns. You can find free patterns, you can find patterns that you have to buy. Uh, so this one is actually one that you have to buy. It starts on the 6th of October, that's when the first clue is released. Obviously it's already started because you get your wool, uh, you know you have to decide that beforehand. And how do I sign up from September the 3rd? You can purchase uh, the pattern on Ravelry or West Knits. So make sure that you do that and you're ready to go. Uh, how do I get the clues? The clues are released every Thursday. If you purchase the pattern through Ravelry, you will receive an email and be able to update your pattern in your library. If you purchase the pattern through WestKnits.com, you will receive an email when the update is available for download. How many clues are there? There are four clues released on the 6th of October, 13th, 20th, and the 27th of October. What skill level is the MKAL designed for? The pattern will be suitable for adventurous beginners. You should already know how to knit, purl, increase, decrease, and read a pattern. and will be enjoyable for seasoned knitters too, such as my mother. So there will be photo tutorials and videos to assist you with visualizing the techniques and construction. So that is a very uh, and pretty in-depth explanation of what, of what is going to happen. So he also releases videos which will help you in understanding um, what the clue is actually talking about. So if you have difficulty, you know, visualizing, you know, you usually do a knitting pattern with an image of what it's going to be at the end. Obviously you don't have that, so uh, he helps out by releasing photo tutorials and videos. Um, so don't feel like you're going to be left uh, drowning. <laughs> um, and then there's also this thing in knitting called brioche. And apparently not, like there's a group of people who don't like that. So he's written here, if there is brioche, there will also be a non-brioche option. <laughs> So, I've never done brioche myself, but I have no qualms about trying different things. So, we're not finished yet because I have to wind these into balls of wool. Because you can't knit it like this. It will just get tangled up and everything like that. That is going to be 
the end of this unboxing video since I don't really have a lot more I can add right now but yes look at those beautiful beautiful colors very happy very excited I love the feeling of them the quality it feels so good it's like nothing I've seen felt in Sweden to be honest so I'm really looking forward to that got an extra bag I'm also super excited about the actual box I can repurpose this into something else maybe put some art supplies in here ah so exciting thank you guys for watching this video I will see you on another craft update or whatever and that's it for me I gotta go wind some wool have a wonderful day hey doll